Um, you recently renovated your, a townhouse in the South End where you live and work. Um, and the, and the, the, the place has received a lot of publicity, both for its interior design and for the greenness of the build out. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the renovation and how it's been working there? Yeah, so it's it's um, it's been really great to work on this project. This is the this is the house, Kent Dayton photos, um, and uh, but it's um, yeah in the corner of Rutland and Shawmans, 1850 uh, row house, and um, so basically pretty much looks like all the other houses in the neighborhood from the outside, um, and. But the first level, whoop, this is this is uh, Ava upside down, or she likes to be, and um, <laughs> her mom Susan uh, at the front. But as you see from this photo, it's kind of work on the first level and living above, or pouting above, or whatever Ava's doing there. <laughs> um, but um, you kind of walk in here, then you go into the studio space. So it was all kind of designed to work you know, as um, a studio space, I, I've always lived and worked in the same place. I hate commuting. It's probably growing up in Detroit where you have to like drive to the corner. Um, so I, I really like not having a car and, you know, riding my bike and doing Zipcar and stuff like that. Um, but, uh, you know, the live, live work thing is really important. So we designed this space, a complete gut build out to make it work well for both living and working. So this is the back of the studio. There's that trophy there. For scale, um, this is Susan's corner office. Um, she has a market research firm called Topic 101, um, and this is Ava, hard at work. Um, I think she's doing um, some heavy-duty XML programming right there. <laughs> um, uh, her middle name is Detroit, um, Ava Detroit. So there, and that was uh, my old assistant um, Jesse, who just uh, moved to California. Um, but uh, it's kind of a space there, and that's kind of an overview of it. And there's um, Polly being a fake client for the, <laughs> for the photo. But um, so it, you know, it's very small, but all works. And then you kind of go upstairs, and then it becomes kind of living space. So kind of a uh, you know kitchen space, um, and then this is kind of wall of photos, um, kind of uh, it's just all one open space, um, and. Uh, you know, can't able to catch Ava in her natural habitat there. Um, and then, uh, you know, kind of continues up. Um, but it's, uh, it's been, it was a great project working on this. And I think, you know, um, working with our architects, uh, Stern McCafferty, but we were very closely involved. Again, with my dad being an architect, I kind of felt like I was taking some of this Mies van der Rohe minimalism and putting in this 1850 uh, row house. Um, and I liked every part of the project except writing those big checks. Um, so, but it was it was you know it was really interesting and it was great to kind of design something that really works for what we needed. And we try to have meetings over there all the time with clients. You know, not only is it a time saver, but it shows that within this small space, you can really think about um, what we try to do with design is really thinking through each you know part of the process and not going crazy with something that's ostentatious, but making it really work for um, the situation. So I think it's another way that you apply design um, beyond just graphic design. As Kathleen mentioned before, your building was the site of one of Shepherd Ferry's installations. Oh, oh. Okay. got something. Um, there's a, <laughs> one, just a little plug. Um, our our building going to be on. Um, there's a show on um, Planet Green Network called uh, "World's Greenest Home." It's going to be on in um, January. So um, check it out, or you know, check out my website. I'm sure I'll announce it. Or get on his mailing list because yeah. he sends out many emails. Um, <laughs>